So Andy, I got you here at the 20 point loss against Catholic. What's the first reactions? First reaction is I'm really proud of our guys for the effort and toughness they played with the whole time. Fatigue really set in, but we were in that game heavily undermanned, size, age, depth, you name it, right? And so I went into the locker room and said, I was clapping because they competed and fatigue hit us hard and that's why it got, I think, stretched out a little bit. Plus our zone, you know, our zone was really going good and it's not great yet and we have a lot more to learn in it. We're not doing everything exactly the way we were supposed to and they burnt us in it uh, in the third quarter to stretch the lead. Some of it was just 6-8 on 6-2, you know, inside. And, and it didn't matter what defense you played, we're gonna, that was going to be an issue tonight. But in the first half, we really kind of negated their inside game, which, which, you know, kept us in the game. But we also, I think, I'm not sure when it was, to be honest with you. I think we cut it to 10 or 12 for like maybe a couple minutes into the fourth quarter. I, I, I'm not good at memorizing that. When I, when I watch the tape, I'll remember that. But to be honest with you, yeah. And then our goal tonight, and I told the guys, we're playing 2-3 the whole game because there's no way we can match up defensively with our lineup at this point in time. Um, but also, we wanted to break a record for the amount of threes taken in a domino league game. We didn't do that. We didn't take enough. We shot well, pretty well. We gave up. You know, raggy. I'm like, raggy. <laughs> you know, they heard me more yelling them to not because I didn't take a shot. And they got to have the confidence. And, you know, if you miss one or two in a row, if they're good shots, if the, the next time you catch it, it's a good shot, take it. And these guys will get that. But they're going to have the freedom to, when they're open, shoot it, shoot it. And not just him, but other guys gave up wide open shots. And then, well, we didn't get a good shot after that. So it's kind of a selfish play when you don't take the wide open one early. So I think we could have executed a lot better. I think we could have taken more threes. And I think we could have ran our slides in the way we play the zone better. But, you know, it's where we're at in the season. We're not where we need to be yet. But we'll get there. You talk about a lot of threes, the zone. I'm just wondering, when Ivan gets back and maybe Andreas, if you, if you sign, that, you sign him, uh, are we still going for a lot of threes in the games? This was a, a, a unique game. So our motto, our, our philosophy is lay up dunk on offense, get fouled, and as many open threes for A shooters, really good shooters, as possible for us. It's the opposite for defense. We don't want to give up layup dunks. We don't want to limit our fouling, and we don't want to give up open A threes. We gave too many of those up early, and then the zone got better, and we didn't. But, you know, that's, our, that's what we're trying to do. But when we have Avant, you got to let the big dog eat. I mean, he's a killer, so we'll have more balance, obviously. And then, you know, when we fill out the roster with the last guy, we'll have more balance. But, we, you know, we're going to take open threes with A shooters when we got them. But we, we can't fall asleep on the big dog Yeah. What's the training on Friday? And I saw this player, Andreas. Are we going to sign him? Yeah, I can't comment on that right now. Yeah. Uh, going forward, uh, at this moment, we don't know if, it, if you're going to play in two weeks, maybe on Friday, if, because it's yeah. not a Reykjavik team. What, 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 how is it looking for you? Well, I think we'll find out probably during the day tomorrow. So I'm hoping to know the answers to these questions by the time we hit practice. You know, we're not going to do a lot in practice tomorrow night anyway. You know what I mean? Because we're just coming off that game where these guys were just running to the ground, right? So we'll have a short practice. You know, i got to think about what's the best way to handle that. But I also got to know, all right, if we're not playing for two weeks, then they'll probably have the day off. <laughs> you know what I mean? If we're playing Friday, we'll do something, but short. You know, more mental than physical. That'll be Wednesday. And then we got to have a short, hard practice Thursday, get, ba get back and ready, and then be ready to play on Friday. Yeah. When will Ivan be ready to play? I think, I think, well, he'll start practicing tomorrow. We'll ease him in, and it'll depend each day how he does, where the pain level is, uh, as he does more and more, and hopefully build up to the point where we can play him a certain amount on Friday. But that'll all be based on how he feels and then how the physios, they look at him and say, hey, yeah, I think he's legit. He can go, or you know what? It'd be better to keep him out another day. So we'll go. It's, you know, I never look, it's never a head coach's decision. It's you know, the player and the physio or the doctor. And they tell me if he can play or not. And, you know, this one, I might have been able to play him a little bit, but I don't think that would have helped the game or him or our team moving forward. So, you know, I decided not to. But, you know, we, the, our physio and myself talked while well during warm-ups, and he was, he was doing his best to act like it didn't hurt. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But he was, he was favoring the other ankle, and he's probably not mad. He's probably a little mad at me. That's okay, uh, in a good way. That's what I love about him. He's so competitive and he wanted to play. But there was no way I was putting him in that game. With, the way it was, with, with just two days ago, bad ankle sprain, I think it would have put him in danger. And I'm not doing that. Yeah. The day today, uh, early, early today, we didn't know if the game was going to go. And we didn't know if uh, 
Yeah, who who would be ready to play? Yeah. How how was the preparations? Yeah, well, we you know we didn't we weren't doing anything today anyway. You know, we finished our preparation last night or yesterday afternoon. <laughs> last night, and um, so you know, I'd assumed the game was playing. I was never told the game wasn't playing. There was a question: would, would they or not? But we really quickly found out that we were playing. So there isn't there wasn't but a few minutes of doubt. Maybe we wouldn't. So it didn't affect us at all in terms of you know mental preparation and being ready to go and. If you look at the the players, who are you happiest with? Uh, so well, well, I'm happy with the group. Number one, you know, we have such young guys. I mean, most of those guys played in our under 21 game on Sunday. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, every player except for the imports can play the under 21 team except one guy, and he's just like I think six months too old. All right, so uh, you know, I was happy with all of them. Um, I really was. You know, certain guys did more. Julius, obviously, 19-year-old, had, I think, I just looked at the stats quickly, 28 points, uh, a few rebounds, a few assists. He had six steals, I think. I mean, and then I'm not taking him out. You know, he's, you know it's, it's not fair. You know, it's not fair right now. And then Diedrich, he's a, he's, a, he's a gamer. I mean, he was tired. He's not in shape yet, and he doesn't know what we're doing great yet, but he just doesn't make any excuses and goes out there and plays. And then just the, the whole group, just they, everybody, their attitude's great. They come in, they, they give everything they got. They get coached hard from me at times. And I tell them, listen, I'm not, listen, we're going after it. You got to take, and they can take it. And they want it, you know, which is great. Now I got to, you know, not go too hard, you know what I mean? But they're, they're, they've been so good uh, and they're so coachable that uh, we're just going to keep getting better. And we just want to become the best we can be. And, uh, and then let's see what happens. But we got to get our whole team together. Then we got to get in shape. Then we got to learn what we're doing. And then we'll see what we are all about. And I think that might be four or five weeks away to be honest with you. Hopefully we can survive through that period, maybe get a win or two, and then hopefully kick into gear a little bit in like four or five weeks from now. That's where I think we're at. Thank you, Andy, and good luck. All right, thank you very much. Good talking with you.